Welcome to the Flight Sim Deck, everybody. My name is Patrick, and today I wanted to do a little tutorial in Active Sky 16 to show you how to set up your own custom route and get a good weather briefing for that route. So, first, what you want to do is go over to the flight plan, and our departure is going to be out of Zurich and then we're gonna go to London City so add that and then add your cruise altitude we're gonna do 32,000 feet and uh, 295 is good we're not gonna put an alternate right now all this is fine now you can go up here and this lets you go uh, this will auto route it for you It'll do a direct GPS or a VOR to VOR or VOR to NDB. And what we want to do is direct GPS. And now it just builds up the uh, to and from er, the departure airport and the arrival airport and then the top climb and descent. And what you want to do to enter the first waypoint is click on the top of climb, TOC, add waypoint before. Our first waypoint is going to be Brego and it will pop up if it uh, is a real waypoint in the system and then we're going to do the same thing again click on top of climb add waypoint before next one is will and just keep doing that the next one And when this waypoint gets beyond your top of climb, it automatically knows and it will move it over there. So once it does that, once it goes beyond the top of climb, start clicking on the top of descent and add the waypoint there. So the next one will be nay. Again, click the top of descent. Of, uh, we only have a few more to enter. I just wanted to give you guys a pretty decent route. Okay, and now this waypoint has moved beyond the top of descent, so now this will be the, the descent phase of the flight. So now you want to click at the arrival airport and start adding the waypoints from that one. So we have four more to add. So just keep clicking that. Now there are other ways to do this. If you have other software that will export to the right file type, you can load it in to ActiveSky. But if you don't have anything like that, this works. If you built this on uh, SkyVector or any other um, program, you can just come in and add the waypoints. This is the last one, LCY. Okay, now we have our entire route. You can come over to the map, and you will see your route now on the map. And you can take a look at um, the uh, clouds you'll be expecting, the precipitation. You can click on all these. You have a, even a wind shear. Um, and um, yeah you'll see all the cloud coverage now the best part that will help you the most is if you go over here to flight plan I'm sorry not flight plan but briefing and this is your weather briefing you can print this out on a piece of paper you can add this to a, a PDF and um, now you have a weather briefing for every single waypoint in your plan and it'll even give you the amount of time it should take you to arrive that can help you out a lot. Uh, the expected winds, the temperature, all the way through to the arrival airport. And then even up here, it will tell you whether your uh, cruise altitude is going to be sufficient or not based on the headwinds. And uh, a lot of the information you will usually need is the average wind temps and temperature, so you can find that information up here. And this is all based on this route. And um, this will help you a lot if you're especially if you're doing long trips so yeah I just wanted to show it to you guys I think maybe some people just load up active sky and they use it as a weather engine but it, it's a lot more and this is going to be the most accurate information for your flight well 
that is it for this tutorial. That's all I wanted to show you guys. Uh, hope you learned something. Hope you tried out with your flights. A um, lot safer, a lot, lot better. Well, I mean, you know, if you're gonna spend all the time planning these things, you you uh, definitely don't want to run into bad weather, and this will prevent that from happening. It'll let you kind of avoid it. Maybe maybe you can plan to go around certain areas at certain times based on what the weather briefing is giving you. Okay, guys, that's all for me. Um, I will uh, see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Take care.